Hey guys, we're back again. So, there's a little bit of discussion going on in the cylinders and the heads. Now, <clears throat> most of you guys do not realize how long I've been doing this. 42 years with about 10,000 bikes under my belt. That means I've had more shovel heads than just about anybody else on the planet. And these are bikes that I went and found, predominantly. And I went over them, even if I didn't find them myself, I would send a driver out. And so you learn a lot of things. And I forgot to mention this. There's a difference between 74 cylinders and 80 cylinders. It's like the difference between a fan head cylinder and a shovel cylinder at the base. And 80 inch cylinders are thicker at the base. And there's a difference between early 80 inch cylinders and late 80 inch cylinders <clears throat> and heads. So, uh, I don't have a uh, late 80 to compare fins. I do know this somewhere around, which someone just reminded me, somewhere around late 79, definitely by 80, the fins on the top of the heads were shaped. Well, that didn't come out till then. They've been making 80 inch shovel heads since 77. And what we have here appears to be the thicker base. So again, I don't have another barrel to compare, but visually, the memory says that's the thicker base. If I am correct, then yep, we have, as I have said, an 80 inch motor. So I don't have another one here to compare. So we're going off of memory. <clears throat> But as that paperwork showed, they did make two different FLHSs. And the whole point of the 77 FLHS was more dress up and an 80 inch motor in the direction. So I'd be really surprised if this one doesn't clock out at the 80 inch. That means different flywheels and different barrels. It was a $500 dress up kit, which was a shit ton of money in 1977. A bike that cost 4,500 bucks. So, there you have it. Um, I'm not going to put a degree wheel on this thing. It, you know, it's not that great of a bonus to me. But um, I am 99% positive this is an 80 inch bike. And the paperwork is wrong. So, when you find something on the internet, it's like Palmer's book. It's not the Bible, it's a good directory. So, <clears throat> is what it is. But it does show that they did make a 77 FLHS. Yes, it is. Because it has that 70 number. But anyhow, so that's that. Beautiful bike. It is for sale. Bag lids are in the van. It needs someone to love it. That's all. You know, a little, little breathe on. A little tune up. We build the brakes, carb, manifold rings, shabam, you got a good running shovel head. So, the vast majority of the important stuff is here. And somebody is going to be a one hell of a bike. See you guys in the next video.